This visual method statement will explain, the procedure for bending, cutting, and fixing of steel rebars. We will cover the following contents in this video. Purpose and Scope Responsibilities Tools and Equipment Installation Procedure And References The purpose of this method statement is to provide general guidelines for bending, cutting and fixing of steel rebars, during construction phase of a building project. And scope is applicable to all building projects. The visual illustrations will provide details of activity sequencing, installation, and fixing of steel reinforcement. It also indicates the applicable quality requirements, to execute the work as per approved drawings, specifications, and international standards. Responsibilities of project team includes as following, project manager, is overall responsible for ensuring the activity completion as per approved drawings and applicable standards. Site or construction manager, is site monitoring, coordination with related staff, control of all the construction's activities related to the bending, cutting and fixing of steel rebars. Site engineer, is directly involved in the planning and execution of the activities involved in the bending, cutting and fixing of steel reinforcement works, responsible to ensure adequate equipment are mobilized at works place prior to the starting the activity. QC engineer, ensures and monitor bending, cutting and fixing of steel rebar works. All activities to be executed as per client requirements, procedures, PTS, approved IDPs, and MOS. He will submit RFIs to consultant and arrange inspection for getting approval. Foreman, is responsible to execute activity of installation as per IFC drawings and approved MOS. Safety officer and in charge, is responsible for ensuring best health and safety practices across working, storage areas, and during equipment operations. He will prepare risk assessment for site activities. Following tools will be required to perform this activity, bar bending machine, steel cutting machine, plier set, steel tie hook. Before starting to execute this activity, make sure the availability of latest approved IFC drawings and required NOC and work permits are obtained. The following activities are performed in this procedure, reinforcing steel rebar shall be as per the PTS or relevant standards and specifications. Ensure that only tested and approved grade of steel bars are used as per project specification. Rebar shall be free from loose mill scale and rust free, prior to placement in position. Rebars shall be stacked properly on the ground over the wooden runner, and covered with plastic sheet or fiber cloth. Bar bending schedule based on the IFC drawing shall be produced. Cutting and bending of rebar shall be carried out as per approved bar bending schedule. Binding wire shall be free from rust and conform to the PTS. Properly bind the wires on each crossing of steel using plier or tie hook. See this process of fixing the binding wires on steel bar junctions. Cut lengths shall be grouped with respect to their mark numbers, by putting tags for identification, according to tags, shift these cut lengths from steel yard to site working or location where they have to be fixed. Rebar spacing shall be marked according to the IFC drawings, or as per approved bar bending schedule. The placement and position of steel bars must also be as given in the drawings. The laps and hooks inside the beams and slabs must be sufficient as per codes, to ensure that steel is properly fixed to resist the bending moments of specific locations in the structure. Position, support, and secure reinforcement against displacement using approved precast concrete blocks or PVC chairs. It is required to maintain the bottom and side clear cover to the reinforcement. 
Rebar's network shall be properly fixed with approved binding wires using steel tie hooks or plier. Steel chairs shall be provided at appropriate intervals to support the rebar network. It should not bend down while pouring concrete and with the load of workers at the time of concreting. Rebars used to make these chairs should be of sufficient steel diameter, that can support the upper steel bars and workers load. Lap lengths shall be provided as per IFC drawings or approved bar bending schedule. Lap lengths shall be precisely maintained and measured, in accordance with the drawings and rebar diameters. The following documents and standards may be referred regarding this activity. Inspection and Test Plan Quality Control Procedure for Identification and Traceability Checklist and SOP1 Latest Revision of IFC Drawings Project Technical Specifications ACI 315 ACI 318 SASO SSA2 SASO SSA224 ASTMA615 ASTMA184 ASTMA185 ASTMA496 ASTMA497 ASTMA370 ASTMA82 ASTMA767 ASTMA884 Thank you for watching. We hope this work methodology will be useful at site.